I'm Charlie from CookingSecretsForMen.com. Well, the New York Times recently had an insert in their Sunday food section about summer foods. Uh, one of the Times-inspired recipes was for a tuna salad with hot and sweet peppers. However, their recipe calls for canned albacore tuna. So I'd rather grill some fresh tuna for two reasons. First, I think grilled tuna will taste much better um, and give a better flavor to this salad. And second, I've got a freezer full of albacore tuna from Sitka Salmon that I need to cook. So we'll be cooking tuna for a little while here. Um, I was toying with the idea of roasting the bell peppers in this recipe, but I decided against it. Um, it's a little time consuming and by letting the peppers sit with the vinegar and salt for a few minutes, uh, gives them pickled taste without uh, taking away their crispness. So it's a texture thing. Um, it may work with roasted peppers, I don't know. Um, so I'll leave the link to the New York Times recipe in the description box, which includes the canned tuna. Um, so here is a nice summer salad, Mediterranean inspired. It would be really simple with canned tuna. We'll see how it tastes with the grilled tuna. All right, so we got the air show going on. So jets are flying right over our building. I live about uh, two blocks from Lake Michigan, and the show is on Lake Michigan, so they literally fly right over the building. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to marinate the tuna. So these are two uh, albacore tuna fillets. You can see they're three-sided. So this is the fillet. Um, and albacore is different than ahi tuna, and not the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to marinate these. And we're going to let them sit for 10 minutes. They're a very simple marinade. All we're going to do is we're going to add, uh, two tablespoons of honey, two, and if we need more, we'll get it, and same amount of red poupon. One, two. All right, and this is this is just gonna give it a little flavor, and hopefully, um, we'll, we'll intensify a little bit on the grill. Now we only cook tuna on the grill for about a minute or two each side, and remember, these have three sides when you're grilling, so you got to get all three sides for grill marks. For one or two minutes each side. I think I'll use a brush. I'm going to use a purple brush because they're better for fish. I'll just I'll ladle some on and then I'll work it in. We pat the uh, fish dry. So the marinade is just going to give flavor. It's not going to do anything fancy. Just give a little flavor to fish is what it's supposed to do. All right, so we're going to take these down to our grill, and which is outside and downstairs, which I will do off camera because it's a pain to take all the equipment downstairs. So we'll save a little of the uh, uh, marinade to uh, baste while we're on the grill. All right, so the um, tuna will marinate for 10 minutes, and coincidentally, these peppers are going to marinate for 10 minutes. Well, not marinate, they're going to pickle. Um, so we've got some both red and yellow bell peppers. And I've also got the serrano chili. You can see they're cut into little, little more pieces um, instead of big pieces. Very simply, we're just going to toss vinegar. You can use sherry vinegar. I'm going to use red wine vinegar. About a tablespoon and a half. And we're just pickling. Quick pickle with a little bit of salt. All right. You just want to give these a quick toss. All right, and you're just going to let these sit in the vinegar and the uh, salt 
for about 10 minutes, which is about the amount of time that we're going to let the tuna sit. So I'm going to go down, grill the uh, tuna, and then we'll be right back. All right, so we have uh, grilled the tuna. So I'm going to show you what it's a little pink inside. See there? That's what we're looking for. We've got nice grill marks on them. So this will add flavor. So I want to um, cut into some pieces. You can cut them as big or small as you like. I'm just going to add this right to the peppers. Cut these in half. And add it right to our peppers. Do the same for this one. Nice and medium rare in there. That's all we want. Just one to two minutes on each side. Works great. The canned tuna would be a lot easier, but canned tuna is not going to give you this taste. All right. So again, tuna in here. And clean up for just a second. Mix a little bit. This will be a very colorful dish. All right. So we're going to add. This is. Uh, a couple stalks of celery that I've cut into little dices. And this is some um, flat leaf parsley. So I'm going to put on in just a minute. We're going to transfer to a bowl, to a serving plate. here. Smell the vinegar on the pepper. It means they've nicely pickled. Two more things I want to add. This is not in the New York Times recipe, but I like avocado. I think it would add a lot of stuff to it, both color and um, flavor. So we're going to put these in. Here and there, those are some that are cut in half with our handy avocado cutter that we use. And here's some full slices, as you can see. Last thing, a little top parsley, salt, and a fresh pepper. All right. And this is our tuna salad with peppers both hot peppers and sweet bell peppers and a little avocado. This is a meal in itself and we're going to pair this with a peach caprese salad which we did earlier and this will be our dinner. So thanks so much for watching. Um, check out the New York Times. They're a great place for recipes. This is from the New York Times, a section they had. Please like and subscribe. We'll always appreciate everyone's support. And as always, thanks for watching.